If there's one thing I know, it's alcohol addiction. And being the amazing YouTuber that I am, I've decided to bless you goblins with the divine knowledge of a true alcoholic's 31 levels of alcohol addiction. So if you ever plan on becoming an alcoholic like myself, you'll know exactly what to expect. Stage one, partying. I'd be lying if I said partying every weekend for about six months straight didn't contribute to my addiction's early stages. I mean, going out, getting way and pulling all the finest of ladies all the time just feels so awesome and I wasn't about to ever stop and let me tell you it was well worth the disease that I picked up from them stage two drinking every day at this point I would drink a beer almost every single day regardless of what it was I was doing if you have a wife and kids this is usually the stage where you'll notice they start to get a little concerned not that you should pay any mind to them I'm just saying that'll probably happen stage three complacent you simply give up on working and stay at home watching TikToks all day. As you increasingly gain weight and become a true slob melded together with your couch, you start to really feel more awesome than usual. Stage four, depression. The true weight of what you've become will start to set in and admittedly, you get a little sad sometimes. I remember once when I was in this phase, I spent six hours crying and trying to drown my sorrows in whiskey before being just like Drake and going out like a light over the toilet. Stage 5, Abandonment. I remember at this stage, my wife and kids left me, and I had to split half of everything I owned with her, and so I moved into a small apartment studio that's about 300 square feet in total. This is why you should never sign a prenup. Being alone and abandoned isn't all that bad when you think about the samurai way, and how they stay disciplined and strong on a rigorous and lonely path to find true happiness. Being an alcoholic is a lot like that. Stage 6, More Alcohol. Yep, you guessed it. After my family left me, I drank more because I had nothing holding me back. Stage 7, drugs. I discovered weed at this stage because it really helped me take the edge off. Stage 8, more drugs. I discovered meth at this stage because it really helped me take the edge off. Stage 9, cool music. At this point, you'll find yourself feeling a little more adventurous with your music taste, so you'll branch out and find that you enjoy way more music than you originally thought you would. Stage 10, despair. I would have taken stage 4 over this any day. Stage 11, agony. I would have taken stage 10 over this one any day. Stage 12, bargaining. At this stage, you will beg your wife and kids to come back to you with empty promises and by also giving them false hope. God, I miss her. Stage 13, buying services. I can't say what this is exactly for YouTube reasons, but imagine you see one of those fine ladies on the street and you give her a little cash and go back to a motel for the most epic 30 seconds of your life. Stage 14, financial ruin. After supporting so many young ladies, small business, businesses. All the money you've been living off of and saved up your whole life has now run dry. I was on the streets for months. Stage 15, contemplation. You will really start thinking here. All these thoughts you have will really get you thinking real good and you'll really think and contemplate in deep thought and just don't just don't think about her. It hurts too much. Stage 13, rehab. Getting clean was probably the best thing I could have done for myself because I got a job, a new house, and my life became really stable again. Stage 13, relapse. With all this money, you're finally able to afford all that alcohol you couldn't have when you were broke. Stage 18, abduction. I was walking around my local town after a few dozen drinks when a suspicious vehicle took me. Dark, human-like figures towered over me and subjected my body to experiments that weren't very nice. I can only imagine that every alcoholic goes through a stage as wild and consequential as this one, and if not, you're clearly not drinking enough. Stage 19, time skip. Apparently, those figures held on to me a little longer than I thought because by the time I was back, my small little peasant village no longer existed and a few hundred years had passed. Stage 20, alcohol again. Damn, let me tell you, this future alcohol is friggin' sweet. Sheesh. Stage 21, money. You turn in all your possessions to a pawn shop because they're now antiques and you get very rich. Stage 22, buying future services. This was awesome. Let me tell you, all these techniques they come up with will blow your mind for some of the best 30 seconds you'll ever have. If you want to see what exactly they did, subscribe to Ninye Plus. Stage 23, returning home. With the last of your funds, you buy a time machine and go back home. Stage 24, grind. Now that you're back home, you have a lot of modern drinks to catch up on, so you better get chugging. Stage 25, 
arson. Burn her house down for leaving you. Stage 26, evasion. Now that you're a convicted criminal, you gotta run from the law. In my personal experience, going to Canada has worked pretty sweet for me. Stage 27, you don't wanna know. Stage 27. Stage 28, power. Now that you're part of the mob, you have a lot of power at your fingertips. I mean, you can kind of do whatever you want here, really. So beyond this point, the stages may vary a bit from person to person, you know what I mean? Stage 29, go to the bathroom. Since you've been holding it in this whole time since becoming an alcoholic, I would highly recommend going to the bathroom, but I'm not your dad, so you can do whatever I want. You Stage 30, bowling string. Since you're such an important figurehead behind the scenes of multiple governments, you can now mold the world how you see fit. So make sure to give yourself an edge over any and all competition you face and take that edge off with a little Hennessy while you're at it. Stage 23, become a YouTuber. You heard me right. Not only is this a stage of alcoholism video, but it doubles as a tutorial on how to become a world famous YouTuber just like me. So make sure to follow these steps exactly. Otherwise, you messed up and you'll never amount to anything in your short, meaningless existence. Anyways, that's the video. Subscribe. Bye.